Thank you for joining us at the Ace Pilot Academy. What is Critical Engine? The aircraft's manufacturer's published VMC is determined with the critical engine inoperative. Critical Engine is the engine whose failure has the most adverse effect on directional control. For most U.S. certified twin-engine aircraft, both propellers turn clockwise when viewed from the rear of the plane. In these conventional twins, the left engine is the critical engine for four reasons, all of which contribute to making the critical left engine the one which most adversely affects control of the airplane when it becomes inoperative. If you are not familiar with these four reasons or factors associated with critical engine, we will discuss them in this video. Do you know the factors associated with critical engine? We remember these four factors using the acronym PAST. When an engine fails on a twin-engine airplane, the aircraft will tend to yaw and roll into the dead engine. Let's look at P factor. At low air speeds and high angles of attack, the effective thrust center line shifts to the right on each engine because the descending propeller blades produce more thrust than the ascending blades. The thrust on the right engine will have a longer arm from where the center of gravity is compared to the left engine, causing more of a yawing moment and requires the most rudder to counteract the adverse yaw. Because of a longer arm on the right engine's descending blade, compared to the left engine, this makes the failure of the left engine more critical due to the reduced controllability. Next is accelerated slipstream. Accelerated slipstream refers to the air moved by the propeller, which moves more quickly over the wing directly behind the propeller. Because of P factor, the right engine has a longer arm from the center of gravity compared to the left engine creating more thrust from the descending blade. This excess thrust causes a lot more airflow over the wing, which in turn causes more lift over the right wing, resulting in a rolling moment. Spiraling slipstream is the next factor. As a spinning propeller creates thrust, the air moving backwards will rotate in the direction of the propeller, spiraling rearward. The slipstream produced by the left propeller is displaced inward towards the fuselage. As the airflow moves back, it impacts the vertical stabilizer, enhancing vertical stability. The increased airflow across the rudder provides greater rudder control, minimizing the yawing tendency. The slipstream produced by the right propeller angles away from the aircraft's centerline, providing no advantage in terms of stability and rudder control. Because a loss of thrust from the left engine reduces controllability, the left engine is the critical engine. And finally, let's look at torque. Torque can be demonstrated with Newton's third law of motion, which states that each action produces an equal and opposite reaction. In a conventional airplane with propellers that rotate clockwise when viewed from the rear of the aircraft, the torque generated by the engine will cause a left rolling moment to the airframe. With the effect of torque in a conventional twin-engine airplane being produced around the engine's crankshaft, and both are the same distance from the aircraft's centerline, neither engine would be considered the critical engine by definition, since each engine is creating the same amount of torque in the same direction. But when we consider torque along the asymmetrical thrust resulting from power loss on one engine, we see why torque can be another factor. If we look at the right engine being inoperative with the propeller windmilling, the asymmetrical thrust of the left engine yaws the aircraft to the right. The torque of the left engine generates a rolling moment to the left, helping to offset the effect of the yaw. With the right engine inoperative, in this condition, we still have a fair amount of directional control of the aircraft. If we look at the opposite engine out possibility, with the left engine inoperative in the left propeller windmilling, the asymmetric thrust from the right engine will yaw the aircraft to the left. The torque from the right engine will generate a rolling moment to the left. This combination of effects causes the left engine to be the critical engine, causing a rolling moment. These are the factors that affect critical engine. Thanks for joining us today at the Ace Pilot Academy. Have a great day.